This is uh, Alan Lakusiak, who's an Ottawa Public Health nutritionist. And they're an interesting program that's been underway throughout the course of the week. Pretty much healthy eating based out of the book, which is uh, The Very Hungry uh, Caterpillar. Is that right? Yes. The librarians are reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar and talking about the messages in there about eating healthy and growing strong. What has the response been in terms of parents? These are sessions that you would like to pre-register for. Uh, and then there's lots of information that's included towards the toddlers for their understanding as well as for parents. Yeah, these are sessions that are normally going on and what we, we partnered with the libraries to provide um, healthy eating information in, a, in addition to what they already do with their stories. So we picked this Hungry Caterpillar book as a theme book and around that bo book the, um, the librarians are talking about healthy eating but the public health staff is there also to answer parents' questions. What is it about the book that makes this a great resource for the kids? Well, first of all, it's a really popular book. Uh, both the librarians love this story, but the parents love it too, and it's, it's a real classic. It's a really old story, actually. It was written in the 1960s. Um, but the message is that the hungry caterpillar gets really hungry, and he eats, and he eats, and he eats, and he gets really, really big. And he gets a tummy ache when he eats all this awful food. But when he eats a really healthy leaf, he feels better, and he turns into a beautiful butterfly. So you have the librarians who are able to read this book. What is it like for you guys to be on hand as well to answer questions? Because there's got to be the crea you know, creating the dialogue to understand what the kids are reading and understanding as to choosing the leaf over the other foods, uh, but trying to you know, have it correlate to the foods that we want our children eating. Well, we, we try to, um, to tell parents that it's, it's all about their children's appetite. Feed them to appetite. Trust your child's tummy, especially with toddlers. It's, it's easier for parents to just they leave it up to them. If they're hungry, feed them. If, they're, if they say they're full, don't force them to eat more. So that's the message that we're trying to send out to parents. Uh, oftentimes they're going to constantly say that they're hungry, even when they're not hungry or usually when they're bored. So how are we trying to make the right decisions to say, okay, we're going to feed them, but the choices that we want to make in what we're feeding them. And that is the parent's responsibility. We, we, we lay it out by there's parent's responsibilities and there's the child's responsibilities. And the parent's responsibilities are to provide the healthy choices when their child should be eating and what they should be eating and the child's responsibility is how much they eat and whether they eat or not. Uh, one of the things that, that a lot of them are doing is, uh, you know, there's a great pamphlet here with the eating healthy, growing strong, but the color coordination and just understanding the types of foods and, and showing representation with colors uh, and, you know, food groups so that they know what they want to choose from. Yeah, and the best choices and particularly with the really brightly colored foods are the fruits and vegetables and if they're really hungry and they want to keep eating, give them lots more fruits and vegetables with those bright colors and and you'll be getting lots of vitamins and minerals into them. How successful has this been in terms of having this partnership and doing it with, with what it is that you do and what the librarians are doing to have you know, this healthy dialogue? It's been great. The librarians are so good at what they do. They really engage the parents. The parents love to go there. The kids have so much fun. They sing songs and they tell the stories and they play these little games. And, and it's nice for public health to be there because the parents are already there. Mm -hmm. Rather than us trying to get them to come to our programs, we're going to a program that they're already at. And we've, we've got the resources and the experts expertise to answer their questions. Do you find there's other questions in addition to what it is that they're coming for that, they're, that they're definitely going, okay, I have one more question. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's been great. We've had a great response and the public health is just loves to be able to talk to parents, mm -hmm. especially in places where they, where they like to be. Where they are and where their children are exactly. at the same time. 